Greetings, mech warriors. Look at this beautiful mech. So pretty, so serene, just sitting there collecting, collecting dust. Level <laughs> critical. What was that? Let's find out. Could this be the Dire Star? This is the new version of the Dire Star because we just got the new toys. And I loaded this thing up with 11 beam lasers. Yes, 11. And I tried firing it. Let's see what happens. Well, the internal structure's a little hot. Let's see how many of these we can fire at once. <laughs> Just kills me. Makes me laugh so hard. I saw somebody firing a blood asp with uh, four of these yesterday. So let's see what three of these does. That is quite a bit of heat. How about eight of these? Heat level critical. That is a lot of heat. Let's let this thing settle down. I can almost reach this guy. Let's try four of these. Now let's try doing seven of these and see if that'll work. Target destroyed. All of these at once. Target acquired. Heat level critical. It just shuts down instantly. The heat is just too tall. <laughs> Trying to recover. Beef needs to do one of these videos. The problem is, is keeping this thing on without it exploding. Override engaged. <laughs> bye bye, cruel world. Heat level critical. Well, I killed that mech, but the heat was a little immense. Yes, peeps, boys, girls, and whomever, we have some new toys on the battlefield. And Clan got the beam lasers. And what do these beam lasers do exactly? Well. This is it right here. A clan variant of the large X-Pulse laser. This laser fires a continuous beam. And with the exceptions of your mech exploding or shutting down, it continues to fire this beam for as long as you press the button. What the best part about this is, is it's an instant fire. So you can actually fire this, let go, and then fire again immediately. And it will work again. It's just just like that. Um, maximum range is 900, which isn't doing hardly anything at all. 
uh, optimum range is 600. Projectile speed is basically instantaneous. And health of the weapon is 10. Interesting. Takes up two slots, weighs six tons, and it does five damage per second. Heat is three per second, so it's it's a it's a lot of heat. But you can also trade this out for another new weapon that they have available, the plasma cannon. And the plasma cannon is a light variant of the Clan ER PPC. This PPC does. Um, also deals heat damage to its target. This takes up two slots, weighs three tons, does four and a half damage for three tons, which is not a very good damage per ton ratio. The heat is seven as well, which is excessive. Cooldown is 3.5 seconds, so you gotta wait a little while before you can refire this again. However, Optimum range is 540, and it has a very gradual sloping arc all the way out to 1080. Uh, projectile speed is really quick. Health is 8. Now, at 1080 meters, it's doing next to no damage whatsoever because um, its optimum range is 4.5 damage. But you can load your mech up with these, as in case. Actually, we're going to leave these off. And we're going to take this into a match. We're going to go to the hottest map there is, which is Rubelet Oasis. I mean, why not? If you're going to take it to a, a, a map and test it, you should take it on the hottest map. I used to think Terra Therma was the hottest. Oh, no. No cracker. Rubelette is definitely the hottest one. I confirmed that with multiple sources. And everybody agrees. It's the hottest map. Not to mention it says so. So that really makes a difference. And even in the um, test bed map, it takes forever to get there. Probably because everybody's playing at this hour. Oh Jesus! Getting back to the to the uh, mech bay was much faster than this. Here we go. Did you see that? There was snow for a second. So now I've got the plasma cannons. And I'm just going to test one of these. Target acquired. Let's get the information up. interesting about these is if you want to cycle fire them as you can see it's doing some damage but it's not a lot not like It's because of this. Watch. Heat level critical. You can pulse fire them. But the interesting thing about them is even in groups of a four, or actually, yeah, I got four in this case. 
every time you bring them on, they jump significantly. Watch what happens after you turn them on. They do go up, but it's a slow rate. But watch what happens if you pulse them from zero. It jumps really Level fast. Critical. Level critical. Versus if you just let them on. Critical. Level critical. These really don't do a lot of damage, but they look really cool when they fire. I will say that much. Look, look what they're doing when they hit. That looks really cool. Target destroyed. Heat level critical. Heat level critical. But it's not as cool as this. Heat level critical. Another guy right around here. Yeah, there we go. Target acquired. So ultimately, these new uh, plasma cannons, they're probably going to be more useful on light mechs than they are on heavies and assaults. Just, I just fired four of those, and he's only at 96, so I only took four away. So I took one damage away per plasma hit. Not even that. See, look. Versus... And let's just... Go with one of these. I can hold this almost all day long. Earlier it was fine. When I was aiming at a center torso, it didn't cost me anything. Now it's costing me something. What I want to know is if there's any benefit to cycling these. There is some benefit. Heat level critical. Heat level critical. Heat level critical. Very cycle these you're getting a good cycle rate and that actually seems to work pretty good Heat level critical I think you can probably fire all four of these and have a pretty good exception boy that's a lot of heat and what did we figure out? We probably firing all four of these does maybe five damage realistically because there's flash damage. I don't know where there's any other mechs close by. There we go. That's Target 811. Acquired. That's in range. I did three damage with four plasma cannons. That's really just very underwhelming. Whereas these, heat 
level critical. If I fire these, I'm gonna go into overheat. Heat level critical. So these are really these these uh, plasma cannons aren't very useful for bigger mechs, I think, but they could be useful for mediums and uh, light mechs. We'll see. But the amount of heat that they uh, generate versus the amount of damage they do. Heat level critical. That is a lot of heat to do five or six damage per volley. And that's firing four of these at the same time. Now granted, if I cycle them, a little bit better on the heat. Sure, call which ones you like better. Um, I honestly, I like the ERP PCs better because uh, you're doing more damage uh, per ton. I feel these uh, they don't weigh very much, but they also don't do very much. The the uh, beam lasers do really well. I would have liked to have seen the binaries on the uh, clan mechs, but you know you can only have so many toys. Anyway, I hope this was useful, and I hope to see you in the battlefield.